Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play the song called Pon Pon Pon. Okay, so here we go. So, uh, in this lesson there will be two sections I'm going to teach you. The verse section is the uh, verse section, the motor that goes like this. Give you a quick preview of those two sections before we start. So the verse section goes like this, goes. So that's the uh, first section that we're going to learn. The second section is the pon pon dun dun da 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 da. That part really catchy. I'll give you a preview right now. It goes like this. Okay. Yeah. And that's you repeat that. Um, Second section as well. Okay, it's a lot of repetition and stuff. So here we go. All right, let's get started with the first section right now. Okay, so to break up this first section into, I guess, four parts and learn it. Okay, so first part goes like this. Right hand starts on the C sharp here. Middle C is here for a reference. We go up an octave to this C, start on the C sharp uh, right next to it. Okay, so it goes C sharp and then two E's. C sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp. And then it goes G sharp A, G sharp, F sharp, E. Okay, that's the first part for the right hand. One more time for the first part for the right hand. So it goes C sharp E, E, C sharp E, F sharp, G sharp, G sharp A, G sharp, F sharp, E. Just like that for the right hand for the first part. So once you get that for the first part for the right hand, left hand, we have two chords here for the first part. The two chords are uh, A major, is the first chord, which is A, C sharp, E. The second chord is first, oh no, sorry. The second chord is G sharp minor, okay? Which is G sharp B, D sharp, okay? So with those two chords in mind, so A major followed by G sharp minor. Two hands together goes like this. Uh, the two hands together starts together, right? It starts, it's together. After G sharp, G sharp minor by itself. Right it continues. Just like that, and that's the first part one more time. So it goes like this, together. Here like that moving on now to the second part okay right hand continues goes c sharp e e c sharp e f sharp e and then g sharp a g sharp f sharp e that's the second part for the right hand once you get that let's do it one more time so it goes c sharp e e c sharp e f sharp e and then g sharp a g sharp f sharp e and that's it for the right hand for the second part okay once you get that the left hand we have two chords here the two chords are okay the first chord is interesting it's the four note chord it um it's actually a major with a b bass so it's b c sharp e and a yeah pretty awesome chord and then the second chord it's c sharp minor which is c sharp e g sharp so with those two chords in mind so a major with b bass followed by c sharp minor the two hands together goes like this, so it goes, um, okay, C sharp and the uh, A major B bass together. After E, C sharp minor by itself. Like that. That's the second part. One more time for the second part, so it goes together. Here. Yeah, and that's the second part. Okay, moving on. Um, let me see. Yeah, moving on to the third part. Okay. Third part is actually pretty much the same as the first part. The only difference is the left hand for the second chord. Instead of G sharp minor, this time we do uh, first one version of E major, which is G sharp B E. And that's the only difference. Okay, all the other notes on the right hand and the placement of left and left hand and the right hand together is actually the same. Check it out. It's like this. But change the chord here. And you see, it's like. Pretty much the same as the first part, only that the left hand second chord, instead of G sharp minor, it would just move that thumb up half a step into that second chord right there. Okay, so that's the pattern for you to learn, so you don't have to just, uh, like relearn anything because it's the same notes on the right hand and left hand is pretty much similar as well. Okay, so yeah, one more time for the third part. So it goes together, here, like that. All right, now moving on to the fourth and last part of this section, of uh, this first section. Okay, so right hand continues, it goes C sharp, E, E, C sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp, F sharp, E, G sharp, A, G sharp, F sharp, E, like that. And that's the right hand for the fourth part one more time, so it goes like this. C sharp, E, E, C sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp, F sharp, E, 
G sharp A, G sharp F sharp E. Just like that for the right hand. Okay, left hand, we have two chords here for this uh, fourth part. The two chords are F sharp minor, which is F sharp A, C sharp, followed by C sharp minor, which is C sharp E, G sharp. Okay, so with those two chords in mind, F sharp minor and C sharp minor, the two hands together goes like this. Okay, so it goes C sharp and F sharp minor together. After F sharp, C sharp minor by itself. Just like that, one more time, so it goes like this. Together. Here. And that's it, okay? So back to back, the four parts that I've learned in this lesson and in this section will be played like this. Check it out. And just repeat it from the start. Etc. So it's pretty fun, pretty fun, it's pretty catchy already, this first section. Well, pretty much the entire song is catchy, it's filled with a lot of catchy motives, including the next section that we're going to learn right now, the pom pom da da da, that part's super catchy as well. So let's get right into it, uh, break it up into four parts, it's actually really simple, there's a lot of repetition stuff happening in this, it's actually easier than the first section in my opinion, okay? So first part for the right hand, it starts on the B up here, so middle C, go up an octave C, Go up to this B, that's where we start on. So it goes B, B, down to F sharp three times. One, two, three, back up to B twice. Down to F sharp, E, F sharp, up to B, B, like that. And that's the first part. Okay, one more time. So it goes like this. B, B, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, B, B, F sharp, E, F sharp, B, B, like that. Pretty simple stuff. That's the right hand. Left hand. We have two chords for the first part. The two chords are two A major chords, which is A, C sharp, E twice. So with these two A major chords in mind, the two hands together goes like this. So it goes B and A major together. B and A major together. Simple like that. And that's it. One more time. So it goes together. Together. Moving on to the second part. The second part goes like this. Um, let me see, it's really similar, it's actually, the right hand is pretty much the same as the first part except for the last note, so it goes B, B, three F sharps, B, B, F sharp, E, F sharp, B, and then instead of doing two Bs here, we finish with a G sharp, like that, see, it's pretty much similar to the first part for the right hand, yeah, so that's that, so it goes B, B, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, B, B, F sharp, E, F sharp, B, G sharp, like that, okay, so, yeah, same right hand except for the last note, replaced with G sharp. Left hand, two chords here for the second part. The two chords are B major, which is B, D sharp, F sharp. Second chord is C sharp minor, which is C sharp, E, G sharp. Yeah, so with those two chords in mind, let's actually play up here. So B major and C sharp minor. Okay, with that in mind, the two hands together for the second part here is like this. So B and B major together. B and C sharp minor together. Like that, and that's the second part. Okay, one more time. Together. Together. And then awesome thing happens because the third part is actually exactly the same as the first part, so you know it already. And then, however, the fourth part is also really similar to the second part. The only difference is the last note. Instead of G sharp, it goes to E. Check it out. So all the chords and stuff is the same. Check it out. E, like that. See? This fourth part, pretty much the same as the second part, except for the last note on the right hand. All these stuff is really good because, um, yeah, it allows you to just kind of speed learn for stuff by knowing the patterns, okay? So yeah, one more time. E, like that. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, I'll recap through the uh, four parts of this section so you know exactly what happens, okay? So like this. Do is repeat it, okay? Yeah. Yeah, so the chords are pretty simple, so you can actually do a lot of improvisations like what I did along the way the preview just then. So yeah, you can kind of like do arpeggios on the left hand and bounce around and make it very jumpy and catchy, just like the original song is, okay? But anyway, 
yeah, as for now, that's pretty much it. Check out my cover for the song. I did the entire song. As for now, also, if you'd like to learn these type of tutorials, I have a lot of them on my channel. I have over 2,600 piano videos for you to enjoy and learn from. So a lot of stuff. Also, check out my website, bestpianomethod.com, to learn more about my methods and teachings. Okay, linked in the description below somewhere. And as for now, yeah, enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time. I'm glad you made it to the end of my video. Now you can visit my website to learn how to play this or any song you want through my methods explained through books and courses. Or just get me to make a full song video lesson or sheet music transcription on any song you want using my customized services. As for now, enjoy your time on my channel, subscribe and see you next time.